you are ready to try something different and absolutely delicious, this is what you gotta make and they're called bao buns. Pairing them up with crispy pork belly just takes it to another level. And I'm excited to show you this recipe, so let's do it. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below. I started off with 300 grams of all-purpose flour, 20 grams of powdered milk, 4 grams of baking powder, 5 grams of instant dry yeast, 35 grams of white granulated sugar, and mix it well. The only way to get accuracy is by using grams. To use tablespoons and cups just does not come out right. So to ensure everyone will get the exact recipe, that's why I'm using grams. Once everything has been combined, throw in 35 grams of vegetable oil and finish it off with 200 grams grams of lukewarm water. From there I like to use my mixing paddle. Once everything has been combined I change it to my dough hook and let it knead for an additional 4 minutes. When it's done you can see that I'm left with a nice soft dough. It is not elastic yet as it needs to rise. So just shape it into a ball, throw it in a bowl with some vegetable oil, cover with clinch paper and let it rise for an hour. Once the dough has doubled its size, it's a sign that it's ready. At this time this dough should feel extremely soft and because there's so much fat in it, there's no need for additional flour. It should be very easy to open it up. One of the biggest mistake I made making this dough before was that I made it too thin. So when you're stretching your dough, leave it at at least half an inch. Any smaller than that will be way too thin. Using a round cutter, just cut them into shapes. Then you want to fold them right into itself, giving them that classic bao bun look. To make sure they maintain their shape, lightly roll a rolling pin on top of them. Once you're done, this is what they should look like. To make sure they won't stick, I'm adding a little bit of vegetable oil. Now all there's left to do is add them to your steamer and let them rise for an hour. The great thing about these bao buns is that you can use any type of protein with them. And today I want to make it nice and crispy with a pork belly. I think the texture of a bao bun and crispy pork belly are just made for each other. When choosing a pork belly, try to look for one that has the most amount of meat. Since it's the belly, it will automatically have a lot of fat. So when you find one that has a lot of meat, don't even think twice. Now for the preparation, I'm going to maximize flavor and crispiness. Just like a big porchetta, I started by opening it once and then opening it up one more time. This creates a lot more surface area so that I can season it well. To ensure my seasoning will penetrate as much as possible, I made some very light cuts. Then I added some garlic paste, salt, freshly ground black pepper and finish it off with Guga's rub. Now all there's left to do is to stretch it and roll it into itself. To ensure that it would not be undone during the cooking process, I decided to tie it up with some butcher's twine. Once I was done, my beautiful miniature porchettas were ready. I also made an extremely simple sauce. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below. This sauce only has four ingredients. Hoisin sauce, honey, sesame oil, and a pinch of cayenne. Let it come to a boil, mix it well, and your sauce is done. I've also made a very simple pickled carrots and daikon. Once they were all chopped up, in a separate container, I added a half a cup of vinegar with a half a cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar, and finish it off with one teaspoon of salt. Mix it well and our pickling solution is ready. Throw everything into a container, add your liquid, and your pickling daikon and carrots are done. And they are absolutely delicious. The great thing about them is that they'll last quite a while on your refrigerator. But now that I have my beautiful mini porchettas ready, I'm gonna be cooking them at 450 degrees Fahrenheit in indirect heat. And for the bao buns, all you're doing is putting them on a steamer for 10 minutes and they'll be ready to go. But now that we have everything ready, it is time to cook them, so let's do it. All right, are you ready to try it? We have a lot of things going on. Before we can try our bao buns, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try to our beautiful pork belly, which they look fantastic. Are you Ooh. excited? You ready to go? I heard it was crunchy. Oh, look at that. Ooh. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go for it, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Um. Oh, it's crunchy. Oh, it's extra crunchy. That's good. Is that crunchy? 
that is nice and soft not that hard crunch that's gonna break your teeth see how it's nice and soft crunchy it's not that hard crunch that's what you're looking for everybody mm. Mm. oh good. man that right. is good that is good you okay. want the are you ready for some green stuff? Ah, oh, no. And some of these? And some of your favor? <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't really hear all that. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and make a bun. On. Get the other camera, Angel, and let's make a nice, beautiful bun. Go. Go get that. Ooh. They can't see that. You got to show it to them with another camera. <laughs> all right, let's make these beautiful bow buns. Ooh, they turned out fantastic. Look at that. Nice and large the way I like it. We got a little sauce here. A little bit of this. Oh boy. There you go, Angel. A little bit of this for you. We got our pork belly. Double pork belly, my friend. Woo! Maybe a little bit of the greens, just a little uh, bit. Really Not really, at all. Really good right there. <laughs> Alright, this one is for you. I'm gonna open this one here for you guys so that you can see the texture. The texture of these bao buns are fantastic. And they're a little bit kind of sweet. Show them, show them how airy it is. Oh, wow. Comes right back. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. It is incredible, everybody. Okay, now let me make my sandwich. A little bit of the sauce. I'm not gonna go crazy like Angel, double, double meat. Nice, beautiful crunches. And then Angel, I know you're not a fan, but I am. A little bit of salad, a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of pickled carrots with daikon, just a little bit, and some green chives. And there you have a beautiful wow bun sandwich. All right, uh, my friend, there is absolutely no veggies for you. I enjoy the veggies. You, uh, want, you want to change your mind? Hold on. No, I'm you're good? good. <laughs> I'm good. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that is incredible, everybody. That combination of the steamed bun together. I want to try it by itself. Go for it. That little crunch pork belly. The sauce is amazing. When you combine everything together, it's just a real, real treat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bread is incredible, right? By itself the is bread good. is a little bit sweet, everybody. Very airy, the fluffy. Oh, man. One more bite. Oh yeah, that's good, man. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh my god. Mm. You, you just can't not like this. And that sauce is crazy good. Mm -hmm. There is no way that anybody would not like this. Oh. If you like bread and pork and you don't <laughs> like this, then you're just like a hater. <laughs> Angel, it's even better with a little bit of vegetables. Let's put a piece of lettuce in there, Angel. Tell me if it's better. No, Angel! <laughs> Come on, Angel! <laughs> it is not hard to do. Is it time consuming? Yes, it's a little bit time consuming, but it's worth it for doing something for your family. Give it a try. The steamed buns are fantastic. Just follow the recipe. When you are cooking the pork belly, it is important that you use you know, the radiant heat, not direct heat. The radiant heat just comes right on top. My grill goes from the side all the way to the top of the actual pork belly. Cook it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, all the way up to 500 max. It did take about three, three hours, three and a half hours to cook this pork belly. Nice and slow and hot, but is it worth it? Oh, it's good, man. <laughs> It is fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy our steam buns. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Comment below, everybody. Let them know you gotta eat some vegetables. Yeah, bro, it's good for you. It makes you stronger, it makes your muscles grow. It has a lot of protein. Oh, actually it doesn't. <laughs> Good one, bro. <laughs> no protein. The protein's on this side. Eat the meat, everybody. <laughs> this is gains. And this is gains and this is what? Loss? Yeah. <laughs>
That's exactly what it is. It's loss. <laughs> this is gains. That's loss. I want for more. Mm. Oh, this is good. Success. Oh, it's so good. Ooh, oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> See you on the next one, guys.